Now that we've reviewed the purpose of the COC Program Rating and Ranking Tool, let's go through the first step in the tool, preparing your list of projects for review. To use the tool, you will need this list for the rating and ranking process. You can either upload projects from the most recent housing inventory count or enter tool or projects directly into the tool. What you will need for this step includes access to your COC's most recent housing inventory count information in HDX, a copy of your COC's 2017 grant inventory worksheet from the HUD Exchange, information uh, about new projects to be funded through bonus funds or reallocation, the amount of COC funding that renewal projects are requesting this year, and the amount of COC funding that projects expended during the last operating year, which you should be able to get from your field office. To download information from HDX uh, for your housing uh, inventory count data, follow the link on this slide or the information in the About the Tool tab. You want to copy the um, header row for your housing inventory count in all of the columns, but not the summary row at the bottom of the chart. Once you have that data, then you should save it to an Excel spreadsheet on your computer. Um, and then we will be copying that data into the tool, but first we want to look at the tabs that we'll be working with in this step. The first tab is the raw HIC data tab, which um, is uh, here, and this is where you'll be uh, copying in your housing inventory count data and clicking the button at the top of the spreadsheet, the generate list of projects from the raw HIC data. That, um, once that happens, the tool will, programming, will bring in all the McKinney-Vento-funded permanent supportive housing, rapid rehousing, and transitional housing projects into this. Um, it'll also include the um, safe haven and demo projects. Um, and it'll prepare this for the tool. Um, so let's go back to the raw HIC um, data tab and copy in this sample data from a, an Excel spreadsheet that we have created for the purposes of this demonstration. You copy all of that. Um, including the header row, and paste it into the raw HIC tab starting with row 2. Once the data is in this tab, then click the button, and in just a moment, the uh, programming will generate the list of projects to be reviewed. So now you can see that um, the, the programming has selected all the McKinney-Vento funded projects, um, which might include an ESG funded uh, rapid rehousing project because that is under the McKinney-Vento umbrella. But it's um, excluded all your shelters, which are not eligible for COC program funded funding. It's excluded uh, permanent supportive housing or rapid rehousing funded from another source, for example, VASH or SSVF. Um, so starting with this list, we can enter information about um, uh, the data uh, from the grant inventory worksheet, for example, the grant number. We can also review the inventory, particularly the bed counts for each subpopulation that has been brought into the tool on the right side of your screen. It's important to be sure that this is, reflects only COC program funded beds uh, because that'll be used in the ranking process. One important note is that we're using beds and not units because the housing inventory count captures bed data, not unit data. Um, for family projects, this is an important consideration because most family projects are thinking in units, and as you're entering uh, new projects to be funded, um, you should keep this in mind. Uh, so after you've reviewed the, the list of projects against the grant inventory worksheet, then you can start entering data in the green field in the middle of the screen. And that's where you want to uh, put in the grant, the grant number and the amount of funding from last year, the amount 
of funding that the project expended in the last operating year um, and the money, how much they're requesting for this year, the, you know, the request for the competition. And the last thing to do is to indicate whether that this project is a renewal or reallocation project. We'll get to new and extension projects in a moment. So this project has been chosen to be a renewal or a reallocation, either way on the pick list. If you find that an ESG-funded rapid rehousing project has been pulled in and you need to exclude it, you can um, use that pick list and select ignore. So here's, for example, is a rapid rehousing project. If it was ESG funded, we could say ignore, and it will not be brought forward into the rating and ranking process. Um, so now let's talk about how to add a new project to uh, this list. You click the button at the top, add additional project to the list below, and this um, pop-up box um, comes up. So just fill in the information. In this case, we're adding a permanent supportive housing project. It won't have a grant number because it's a brand new project. Well, this is where you would put in the grant number. But in this case, because it's a new with no historical performance data, we're not, we don't have a grant number to enter. This project has seven uh, family beds, and they're all for chronically homeless families and three individual beds, again, all for chronically homeless. There's no other subpopulations that'll be served by this project. So once we filled it all in, we click OK, and the project shows up at the bottom of the list. And so you can see um, there over in column K, it says new, and now we need to enter um, the amount of funding that they've requested. That's the only additional piece of information for a new project that you would want to add. There are other projects that you'll want to add in this way, HMIS, Supportive Services Only Projects, um, Supportive Services for Coordinated Entry Projects. Those won't be on your housing inventory chart, so you need to um, bring them in. Uh, so once you've brought in all of the projects and checked it closely against the Grant Inventory Worksheet, click this box up in the top. To, to verify that you have checked it against your grant inventory worksheet. And then go ahead and save the file um, because you may need to go back and start again on the rating process and you want to have um, your list that you have prepared. So if you have any questions in this process, you can submit a question through the Ask a Question page on HUD Exchange, selecting um, the uh, indicating to COC question and that it's related to eSNAPs. Um, and if there's a bug, we will resolve the bug and send the spreadsheet back to you.